Hello everybody and thank you much for watching. Every time when I'm getting a question from you guys, which USB-C hub I would recommend for you to, to purchase, uh, obviously depending on your requirements, but which USB-C hub I would recommend for you to go and get when you want to use your Samsung DeX setup on the ultra-wide monitor and get a maximum resolution of Samsung DeX, which is currently stands at 3440 by 1440p. I'm always happy to give you my advice, my recommendations or suggestions which USB setup you need to go and have a look and, and consider in purchasing. But what I have discovered in the past week or so, it adds a bit of pressure on me when I need or I want to help you, but in some way I can't do that anymore because I don't know and I can't guarantee if the hub that I'm recommending for you to buy and it works perfectly on my Samsung DeX setup, it might not work for you. So in this video, I will show you, demonstrate what I have discovered in the past week or so. And basically, <laughs> I hope you will understand why I'm a bit going to be reluctant into suggesting which USB-C hub you need to purchase. I'm still going to do USB-C hub reviews and device and etc. But recommendations right now, you need to take with a pinch of salt, which kind of USB-C hub I'm recommending for you. This is Fitfort USB-C hub, which is purchased in September 2018. And that this USB-C hub was, or still is one of my favorite USB-C hub that I'm using with Samsung DeX because it has so many ports that it works for me. And if you not watched my previous video, I, pro I mentioned a couple of times and I'm just gonna give you a quick TLDR. Headphone jack is broken on this USB-C hub. Every time when I'm connecting any Galaxy device to this USB-C hub, the Galaxy, the Samsung DeX automatically defaults audio as a headphone. So it doesn't matter if I'm gonna go and change it to be auto USB speaker or speakers in a monitor, doesn't matter what I do, within a couple of seconds, it automatically goes back to the headphones. Even if I'm gonna push the audio to go via Bluetooth speakers, it's still gonna go via headphones. So what happened, um, I contacted the seller on Amazon of about a month ago, maybe three weeks ago, and they kindly sent me a replacement. The fit for this same USB-C hub, I got the red uh, cable tie around it just to make sure that I'm not getting confused which one is which because they really look alike, exactly the same. And obviously for you will know what I'm talking about, old one or new one, you will know which one is which. So they send me this replacement and it works perfectly. Headphone jacks working as I expect. The ports exactly the same. On this side, we have two USB 2.0 ports, two USB 3.0 ports at the back, RJ45 and VJ connection. Other side power, full size HDMI, SD, micro SD card reader, and a headphone jack and cable is exactly the same. Literally, they are exactly the same. They even sound the same. Two differences between these two. The old one, slightly lighter gray color, where new one is slightly darker gray color. And the writing at the back is slightly different. Old one is telling me it's power delivery input support 60 watts at 20 volts at 3 amps max, where this text is missing from the new one. I'll take the old one. I'm gonna connect this to my ultra wide monitor via HDMI. I will use USB mouse, just quickly go into settings and check the resolution. I'll use my USB-C power meter, that's plugged in. And just to make sure that uh, the power is exactly the same and the old one says it supports 60 watts of power, I'm gonna use this power brick, which arrived with my next dock 2, not the touch version, the old next dock 2. Uh, I'm still waiting for the next dock 2 touch version to arrive anytime soon, but this is from this next dock, next dock 2, and it says is here is Total 60 watts of power. Galaxy Tab S6 at the start. Let me move this one just for you to see. The Galaxy Tab S6 is connected. My USB mouse goes here. So let's unlock the Galaxy tablet with the fingerprint. And here we go, we are inside the DeX. So if I go to settings, Samsung DeX, and inside the resolution, I'm getting all the resolutions that I expected, even the grayed, grayed out one. I know that is always grayed out one with my monitor setups but I can select the 3440 by 1440p resolution as a maximum resolution, which is perfect. That's what it's supposed to be. And powered going in at 4.8 volts at 1.9 amps, and that is at about nine watts of power going into my Galaxy Tab S6. Let's plug in my Note 9 instead. So Note 9 is plugged in, let's unlock it. Let's wait for Samsung DeX to start. Come on, come on, come on. Starting, starting, starting. Okay, is it started? I think I, I need to re reconnect again. Yes, Note 9 is telling me that HDMI is connected. So in a second, 
my monitor should show me the Samsung DeX. Let's go into Samsung DeX settings and under display, display resolution, I'm getting exactly the same list as I was getting on Galaxy Tab S6, same resolutions, everything is exactly the same as I was getting with Galaxy Tab S6. And most important again, 3440 by 1440p is recommended because this is the 34 inches ultra wide Samsung monitor which supports 3440 by 1440p resolution. So I'm getting a maximum resolution of Samsung DeX on this Samsung monitor with old fit fort USB-C hub. And the power comes in into my Note 9 at 14 watts, 8.7 volts at 1.6 amps. So slightly higher voltage wattage and around I think the same amps. I will put all this on the screen. So this was for fit for old USB-C hub. So I'm gonna put this one down here. Let's bring this one, the new one with the red cable tie around it. First device gonna be the Atlas Tab S6. So HDMI goes in, power goes in, the same power, same HDMI, same device, same cables, everything is exactly the same except USB-C hub is changed to a new one. So you go straight away into settings, fantastic. We go into display and the same resolutions I'm getting on Galaxy Tab S6 with a new fit port hub that they sent to me. Same resolutions and again, 3440 by 1440p is recommended. It's exactly the same, no problems. That's the old uh, power, 5.2 watts, volts at 0.5 amps and, and only two watts of power going. Next. Note 9, and that's where the fun and weirdness begins. If I plug in the Note 9 to new Fitboard Hub, and the power that's coming in is 8.7 volts, 1.6 amps, 14 watts of power. This is not 1440p resolution. This is 1080p resolution. Only two I can pick up. 1920 by 1080, which is recommended, or 1600 by 900. The, nothing is changed. I just swapped the USB-C hub from the old Fitboard that I was using to the new one they sent me and resolution is different. So when you ask me a question, which USB-C hub I would recommend for you? And I was using Fitboard hub since last year, September. And you asked me about five, six months after that, which USB-C hub I would recommend? I would say, oh, I, I probably was saying to you, Fitfort is the best USB-C hub you can buy. It works perfectly with any of my Galaxy devices. It gives me a maximum resolution. And when you go and buy on Amazon or any other website, because they're not cheap, they're about 45 to 50 British pounds, and you buy them and you're coming back, you're connecting your S20, Note 20 Ultra, S10, any Galaxy phone. When you have a state-of-the-art Galaxy phone with the DeX, and you're asking me which USB-C hub, and you purchase this, you're coming back home, you're connecting, and you're seeing this, you probably would be pissed off on me because I recommended something that just works and you went and spent your money and that's what you're getting. So if you purchase USB-C hub of my recommendations, I would like to say sorry. I wasn't aware that that's what's happening. My hunch um, is that uh, they probably, the Fitford uh, company that's creating these, they probably changed something in their chain supply. Some of the parts probably has been changed. Obviously this is very strange that the power delivery input being changed on the new one. So this writing is doesn't appear anymore on the back. I'm trying to work out what actually is happening here. Samsung not telling anyone which or what is recommended or what kind of recommendations is to create an ultimately perfect USB-C hub. That's it, I, 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 I don't know what to recommend for you guys when you're asking me which USB-C hub you should purchase to get a maximum experience on the Samsung DeX. I hope this video is somewhat helped you and I'm still gonna review USB-C hubs when a company is sending them to me, but my kind of recommendations, which, kind, which USB-C hub you should purchase, just take that with a pinch of salt that even if the USB-C hub works perfectly on my Samsung DeX setup and you go and spend your money to purchase it, and you're getting this, which looks exactly the same as mine, my old one, but you're getting a different experience. I, I just, I don't know what to say. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next one. Goodbye.